top five Facebook ads and how much money you should be spending on them. Guys, Kim here from Your Social Voice, and today I wanna to talk to you about the top five ad types. Not the top five ads, but the five ad types that you should be using to get in results in your business. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna explain them to you first, then we're gonna jump into the computer and I'm gonna show you how you can select them and tell you how you should set up your budgeting for them. Now, number one is my favorite all time ad type, which is a conversion ad or a conversion campaign. Ad type, campaign type, same, same. So a conversion campaign, what we wanna do with that is we're gonna tell Facebook where to send our traffic to. Not just the website, but where we want it to end up. So the objective here is we want to capture a conversion, whether that's a lead, a sale, an add to cart, whatever it is for you. But we're gonna tell Facebook where people need to end up. Now, why is that important? Because the old elusive algorithm, the thing that everyone tries to figure out and tries to figure out what they're going to do with, this is what Facebook uses the algorithm for. When we say we want people to end on our thank you page, we want people to opt in, right? If we tell Facebook that's where we want people to finish, they're gonna find people most likely to finish at that endpoint, most likely to finish up over on that thank you page. So if they finish on that thank you page, then Facebook goes, hey, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna to start to find more people that match those people that are gonna to get to that endpoint. This is where the algorithm kicks in. This is where the algorithm can start to take control and tell Facebook where to send people. So that is so, so, so important. I highly recommend using this campaign type as much as you can. Caveat, the only time I wouldn't use this is if your audience size is probably sub 30,000 people, then I wouldn't really go for this one because it's not going to be enough data for Facebook to find people to get to that point. However, if you're getting leads, if you're generating sales, if you've got a Shopify website, whatever it is for you, then I highly, highly, highly recommend using this type of ad to start off with and seeing how you can get people to that endpoint that you want them to get to. Now, numero two, number two, the second ad type that I really, really love is called a lead ad, right? A lead ad or a lead generation ad. Now, what this one does is this allows you to capture a client's name, email, phone number without them having to leave the platform, right? And now some people might say, well, why would I not want them to leave? Facebook, I think, really wants people to stay there as much as possible. And we do give them the option afterwards to be able to click off if they want to, or they can go to another page and see what else you, your business does, but we don't really want that. We wanna capture that information so that you have a lead. And you can run this across Facebook, you can run this across Instagram. And what happens is your client will see an ad pop up They'll see it, they click a button and automatically their name, email, phone number is already pre-populated for them with the information they put into Facebook. They just click submit and off to the races, they've given you their details, they can get whatever it is that you're offering them. Now, there's pros and cons to this type of ad. One of the pros is it's really easy. It should be a lot cheaper for you to be able to generate a lead this way. Now, the reason why, well, the con or the reason why I probably wouldn't recommend this sometimes is because not everyone uses the email or phone number that they connect to Facebook with, right? You've all got that old one from when you were a kid, which is like kimiscool69 at gmail.com that you first registered on Facebook for, right? So not necessarily is that always going to be the best one. Now they can change it. However, that's why some people say that lead ads are low quality or lead ads are not as good quality as sending to a landing page and getting them to enter their information. So there's pros, there's cons. But if you're just starting out, it's a very good litmus test for you to seeing if you can get leads, seeing if your offer works before you go and build out a whole funnel or a whole landing page. Now my third, and these are not necessarily in order of my preference, but this is the top five. My third is video views, right? The reason why I love video view campaigns is because we can really, really fastly build an audience of good, highly engaged people that want to watch our videos because Facebook's gonna find people who are most likely to view your videos, right? You're watching this video right now, I want you to watch, I want you to watch this. So if I, this was on Facebook, I would be bidding for video views to get more people just like you guys watching this video. Now, there's a couple of different types of bidding when it comes to video view campaigns. One of them is you can get bid for a two second view, a 10 second view, or a playthrough. My recommendation is go for the 10 second. Two seconds is like, who wants two seconds, right? Two seconds is nothing. 10 seconds is where I would be bidding for because we also want Facebook to optimize for people who are gonna watch at least 10 seconds, not those two second scrollers they look and then they keep flicking. We want those people that are gonna be 
watching for 10 seconds or more, ideally the whole video, right? But we want to start with that 10 second bid. Now, my fourth option or choice, if you will, of uh, really about 13, 14 different options is page post engagement. Back in the day, this is your boosting, right? Click and boost on your page, that's a page post engagement. Now this one really works and really works well when you have something where you wanna get likes, you wanna get comments, you wanna get shares, also video views count as a page post engagement. But really those first three things, comments, likes, shares, are really what this is going to get you. Because Facebook categorize people as engagers, they categorize them as clickers or they categorize them, categorize them as converters, right? So I really want you guys to think about that when you're choosing which one you're going to do. And then I'll show you in a sec how we choose them and how to allocate it accordingly your budget. So if you wanna get people commenting, sharing, liking, page post engagement is definitely one to do. If you just use boost on your page, then page post engagement is what you are doing. Right? So if you wanna set up something that's easy, so when you're on the go, you put up a video, it's doing amazingly, people are loving it, then what I want you to do is to create an audience first in Ads Manager, in the back end under audiences, create an audience so you can still use the targeting detail that Ads Manager has, then you can go in, click boost when you're on the road, when you're on the go, and it'll make it really nice and easy for you. So that's a page post engagement. Now, lastly, my top five is going to be website clicks or traffic as it's now called. Now, the reason why I do like this ad type as well is because again, Facebook categorizes people. So if you're not necessarily getting conversions or your audience size is too small, what I would recommend is using website clicks or traffic as the objective or the ad type to try and get as many people to your page as possible. This is where you've got a landing page or maybe it's your, uh, your website as well. Maybe you've got a Shopify store, or e-commerce store. I highly recommend using traffic to drive and push those people across so you can find out how well your page converts. And right, if your page converts well, if you've got a good offer, you've articulated it well, you've written it well, then you're gonna get leads, you're gonna get sales, right? Because it, unless you suck, right? That's the only reason, or the only asterisk on that. If you suck, that's probably not gonna work. But you wanna drive those clicks across so that Facebook gives you the people most likely to click, then as long as you've done your job on the landing page, then you're gonna get leads, right? You're gonna get leads, you're gonna get sales. So they are my top five. There's a little bit of an explanation about them. And then guys, what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump in now. We're gonna jump across into the computer. I'm gonna show you how you select them inside the ads manager. And also I'm gonna tell you how to allocate your budget. So let's jump in the computer. Inside the computer, I'm gonna show you a couple of these different setups like I mentioned. So there's two different ways that you can go through this as well. We also have what's called the quick creation. Then there's the guided creation. So I'm gonna show you first in here, and then I'll show you in guided, and then we'll talk a little bit about the budgets and what you should be doing. So let's look here at the campaign objective, right? This is what we're talking about, the ad type. Now here you can see we've got conversions. Uh, we've got all the ones we talked about, the post engagement, lead generation, video views, traffic. Now. Obviously, each of these is meant to be an ascending scale as well. So awareness ascends to consideration, consideration uh, ascends to conversion. So that's ideally what they really, really want. Now, if we're looking at this, right? As I said, we've got um, conversions. This is the first one that we would select. And then in here, you do have to make sure that you've got your pixel on your website and you set a conversion, either using Facebook's internal tracking mechanisms, which is done by events or by creating a custom conversion, right? That's a whole video in itself, but they're the couple of different options that you will have, right? Then the next, if we move down from there, my next one was lead generation. Now lead generation is the one where we can capture their details where they're just clicking the buttons and we've got their leads. In lead generation though, you have to create a lead generation form. Otherwise the leads are gonna have nowhere to go. Right, and it won't let you go and it won't let you actually create it. Um, and then we have our post engagement, right, which is where we've got our boosting of our post essentially, our video views, and our traffic. And again, all of these are very similar. Now, one thing to take into consideration now is that when you set something up, what Facebook does is they, they for some reason, turn on a campaign budget optimization automatically. So just double check that that's off before you go through and create them because uh, it can be a little bit painful. Now let's have a look at what it looks like when it has guided creation. Allow for a little bit of lag time. 
And then you can see we've got exactly the same, but it's laid out slightly different. And it takes you through each section in here. Rather than the other one, you create your, uh, your buckets or you create your different shelves, and then you go in and finish it off. This one takes you through step by step. And you can see they've got a definition at the bottom, what you have to do, um, and in payment information. So we'll go through each one of these. You can see there. Then if we look at lead generation, it'll tell you, it'll give you the definition so you can know if you're using the right one as well. Um, collect information from people, video views, get people to view your videos. All right, it should all be pretty straightforward. And then it can give you, just make sure that if you can uh, ensure that you're using the right one, um, and then obviously traffic and engagement too. So they're pretty straightforward, but you can always just use this to double check what it's going to be doing and what you have to do next, right? Um, and the engagement is pretty straightforward also. So um, you can tell me exactly what they're gonna do. Now, once you have them here, obviously like we said, well, what budget would you allocate? Now, this is very, very, very much individualized. I can't really tell you you need to spend X, Y, Z number of dollars. What I can tell you is that you should have your budget worked out before you come in here. Make sure that you understand exactly what you're doing with your budget. Make sure that you know why you're going to be spending money and what you're going to be spending on. That is how you determine your budget, right? Now, obviously, you probably want to pay more or you should be willing to pay more for a lead or a conversion than you would be paying for traffic or engagement, right? Or video views because they're lower down the scale. So make sure when you get to the second step, it's going to ask you how you want to bid and it'll give you some suggested bids. Um, I recommend just leaving them. Um, if you look at the budget and schedule section here, you can see right over here. But I highly, highly, highly recommend you plan out first how much you're willing to spend for each objective, right? Obviously traffic, the goal should be clicks less than $2. Engagement, the goal should be engagements less than 50 cents. Video views, 10 second video should be video, 10 second video views for less than 10 cents. Lead generation, so varied, like anywhere from probably 10 to $50, depending on what you do. And then lastly, conversions, again, very much dependent on what you're asking people to do. Right, so you need to figure that out for yourself, what you're willing to spend to get each one of those things to happen. But there's a couple of uh, ideas and parameters for those first few. So guys, hopefully you've got a great understanding of these ad types, how you can use them and how you would budget for them accordingly as well. If you have any questions, make sure you drop them down below. Make sure you give us a thumbs up, give us a like on the video. And as always, subscribe so that you can see these videos first before anyone else. Until next time, guys, I'm Kimara. You've been awesome. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Adios.